Since the onset of COVID-19, several reports have indicated a worsening of mental health issues among people of all age groups. It seems like we're learning how to deal with the coronavirus pandemic, but we are heading towards mental health epidemic. A survey conducted in 2017 suggests that America is that one country who's suffering the most from mental health issues and India is not too far away. About 14% of our people are actually suffering with some kind of mental illness or the other. And check out these numbers. It suggests that 45 million people are suffering through some form of depressive disorder and 50 million people are actually victims of anxiety disorder. And the COVID-19 pandemic seems to have worsened this crisis. Mental illness refers to a variety of mental conditions which affects our mood, our thinking and our behaviors. Now here are a list of signs and symptoms which actually indicates who may be suffering from mental illness. Have a look at this. Feeling sad or down, confused thinking or reduced ability to concentrate, excessive fear or worries, extreme feelings of guilt, extreme mood changes of highs and lows, Withdrawal from friends and activities. Significant tiredness, low energy or problems sleeping. Inability to cope with daily problems or stress. Trouble understanding and relating to situations and to people. Problems with alcohol or drug use. Now many people may experience mental health conditions from time to time and that is completely fine. But a mental health issue becomes mental illness when the signs and symptoms which are ongoing for some time begin to create extreme amount of stress and affects a person's ability to function normally. Now, there could be many reasons for these mental issues to come up. For example, the ability to cope with trauma, divorce, job loss, death of someone you love truly and many more. And under these circumstances, people need guidance and support to overcome these challenges effectively. In this video, I'm going to share with you 10 simple, effective and implementable tools which is going to help you to keep mental illness at bay. Number one, smile. A smile is a curve that keeps everything straight. It releases endorphins which helps us feel happier and more positive. It works as a pain reliever and lowers our blood pressure. Laugh. Laughing is and always will be the best form of therapy. When we laugh, it strengthens our immune system, improves our relationships and makes us look younger. Number three, sing. Sing from within. It brings the deepest of emotions to the surface. When we sing, it works as a great stress reliever, improves our lung functioning and enhances the sense of belonging and connection. Number four, dance. Forget your troubles and dance. When we dance, it improves the condition of our heart and lungs. It increases muscular strength, endurance, motor fitness, and we also get better with the agility and flexibility. Number five, play. Play is not a luxury. Play is a necessity. When we play, it relieves stress and improves our brain's ability to function. It stimulates the mind and boosts our creativity. It develops and improves social skills. Number six, meditate. The goal of meditation isn't to control your thoughts. It's to stop letting them control you. When we meditate, it increases our patience and tolerance levels. We focus on the present and it therefore reduce our negative emotions. Number seven, exercise. Exercise not only changes your body, it changes your mind, your attitude and your mood. When we exercise, it helps in controlling our weight, managing our blood sugar and insulin levels, and of course, helps us in sharpening thinking, learning and judgment skills. Number eight, run. I don't run to add days to my life, I run to add life to my days. 
when we run, it improves our cardiovascular fitness, helps in maintaining healthy weight and strengthens our muscles. Number nine, let go. In the process of letting go, you will lose many things from the past, but you will find yourself. When we let go, we feel lighter. We can enjoy what we have. And of course, it helps us to evaluate our choices. Number 10, talk to friends and families. Sometimes talking to your best friend or family member is all the therapy you need. When we talk to our friends and families, we get emotional support. It improves our self-confidence and self-worth and we feel a greater sense of meaning in life. Well, I really hope that you like these suggestions and that you will apply them in your life daily. However, on a second look at this list, you would notice that these are not even tools or techniques that are required to be put into practice to solve any problem because these are just our life's basic needs. This is really what we need to do as an essential way of living to experience the juice of life. However, our misplaced priorities and unhealthy choices have brought us to this state of suffering. Remember, life is after all a dynamic balance of opposites and we have to experience the highs and the lows, the joys and the sorrows, the acceptance and the rejection. This is life. This is really the true essence of life. Therefore, in conclusion, I'd like to suggest that you take one day at a time and live it to the fullest. Stay centered and stay positive. Try to help other people and be filled with gratitude. You know why? Because all is well.